We continue our inspirational true story series and welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, the once bullied girl from Rotorua who is now a force to be reckoned with in the boxing ring and in business. Welcome Selena McPhee. Hey, how are you guys? Good. Yeah, it good. It is lovely to have you here because Mike has been telling me all about you. Now, let's start at the beginning. You were born in the Rotorua? Yes. And what was your childhood like? Um, it, it was okay. I mean, I was, I was surrounded. My mother was a really good mum. She's my hero. Um, I was surrounded by lots of love, but unfortunately, um, we didn't have, you know, a lot of um, money and things like that. So, yeah, it was quite hard being at school, going through um, the pressures of life and mm. things like that. Yeah. Teenage years can be hard too, can't they? They can, definitely. What yeah. happened in the teenage years for you? Um, so, I was quite overweight as a teenager. I grew up, um, I sort of got to about 12 and started to really put on some weight. Um, and by the age of 15 I was about 88 kilos so I was a size 22 at my biggest um, and at high school being that size um, as you would know I could yeah I was bullied a bit. And yeah. girls and boys, teens boys can be really cruel. Absolutely yeah yeah the names yeah some of the names that I was called I'll never forget. So you made a big decision didn't you and you decided to head to Australia? Yes so what I did. What did you do there? So um, I went over there I got into the fitness industry I also went and lived um, in the mining industry and worked over there for about 10 years. Is that where you started the fitness in the mines? <laughs> it is. It was actually before that. Um, I started the fitness before the mining industry. But when I got over there, I got really into it, and that's where I found my passion for boxing. How much of doing, I guess, fitness and also suffering from being bullied affects your self-esteem, doesn't it? Yes. How do you take that and turn it into something positive like you've done? I suppose that's where it comes from, you know. Um, I suppose being bullied as a child and um, and then having that outlet, uh, that sense of euphoria through fitness where I build so many endorphins that I actually feel happy with myself is, is how I built my passion for fitness. And you've never lost a title fight boxing. I mean, what were no. you doing to be discovered? How did that all happen? Um, basically, I started at the bottom where everyone else does and I worked my way to the top, just like... Every, every good person, every athlete does. A lot of dedicated training? Absolutely, 110%. Tough sport. Yeah, it is. You trying it? It's tough. Oh, I did a little <laughs> bit of boxing, not a lot. Um, was there a switch, though? Was there a, a day you woke up and I just thought, right now I have to change my life? Did somebody say something to you? What was the trigger? Yeah, look, I, I, I was over um, in the mining industry and an, a guy named Wyvane Agar, who competed um, years ago for Australia at the Commonwealth Games, uh, he, he found me and he said, look, you're, you're really fit. Um, I think you'd be great in the boxing ring. I denied him for about two weeks, uh, and 12 weeks later, I had my first fight. Uh, and from there, I thought, I, at the, at the, when I went into the ring, I thought, no, I'm never going to do this again. And after my <laughs> first fight, I couldn't wait for the next one. The adrenaline stuck in. So, so you've never lost a title fight. I mean, you've got boxing titles here and in Australia as yes, well? Yes, yes, I do. And you're still fighting? Yes, I am. I am currently the 48 New Zealand champion. Wow. All right, yes. don't mess with her. Um, now you've got a successful business, and that is how I come to meet you because I went to one of your <laughs> SMPT classes. Scrape yeah. off the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I felt so good after doing it, That's which obviously is something you enjoy, watching yeah. that transformation in people's lives. Can you explain to people what SMPT is? Yeah, OK, so SMPT stands for um, Selena McPhee Personal Trainer, um, and we are the home to Box and Ride New Zealand. So we've created a concept that combines cycling and boxing together in one 45 intense workout, one 45 minute. It is intense. Oh. Yeah, it <laughs> but is. it's manageable. It is, it is manageable. So you can take it at your own pace, whether you're a beginner or whether you're advanced, um, and you alternate between seven two-minute rounds of boxing and seven two-minute rounds of cycling. Oh, that looks like so much fun because I've done spin classes before and I found I got a bit bored with them, but I love boxing. Absolutely love it. There you go. So that looks right up my alley because it's really knackering doing that, that riding and Abs boxing. Absolutely. You won't get bored in this class. What an exciting no. thing that you brought home. And so yeah. how's the business going? Yeah, it's going really good. So um, people are coming, joining up um, every week and pretty much everyone that does it joins. They love it. Wow. What do you get out of it, apart from obviously maintaining your fitness there yep. must be I guess a spiritual side to it absolutely as well. the satisfaction of seeing people love it you know like um, being there and enjoying it enjoying uh, mm. the class and and the fitness and the love and the passion that I have for it seeing it on other people so what's next for you box box and ride global domination hopefully New Zealand <laughs> first, the world next <laughs> right so you are going to spread this around New Zealand absolutely nice yep, work definitely
Oh, yeah. well, I'm Let's just, go and do it. You know, this, I've done it and I've had on. a blast. And uh, congratulations, you know, you've turned a yeah. lot of things around in your life. And now look at you, successful yeah. business person and successful fighter. So well done. <laughs> Excellent yes. work, Selena. You are an inspiration. Check out Box and Ride. Go on, do it. I lived and I'm going back because I loved it. You can check it out at smpt.co.nz or go to their Facebook page.